Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, doing a quick video today. Well, maybe not a quick one, but doing a video. I just got the Kurt trailer hitch for the Jetta. You can see how it's loosely set up here. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, I'm just gonna do a video on how to install it. Shouldn't be too bad of an install. You do gotta drill into the trunk. And I got this plate steel here because the trunk is like thin stuff and I don't really trust the bolts just going into that. So I think I'm going to cut out a plate like that, drill the holes and then sandwich it to try and strengthen it up. But um, yeah, so you don't have to do that. Supposedly it's rated for 2,000 pounds towing and 200 pounds tongue weight just off of the way it mounts, but I just like to be a little safer. So that's what we got. Got the hardware up here. Here's the directions. You can see how it goes. Um, this is the tow hook part on the car. You put a bolt right up there and I just have it hanging right now. And then I have the jack holding it up level. And then this is the trunk pan basically. And four holes get put in that and the bolt goes through. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the the big plate on the hitch and then it's just this thin sheet metal. So I'm thinking of putting a plate behind the sheet metal too to really strengthen that up. Um, and then here's the hardware kit. It does have pretty big washers. I would probably have to get longer hardware to use the plate so that might be down the road kind of thing. But come down here, got drill and a nice sharp, I don't know what this is, quarter inch, nah, it's bigger. But we gotta drill half inch holes, so I'm just gonna work my way up. So, there it is. It's just held in place. Try to get it as flush as I could with the bumper. Let me get a light, actually. All right, so, pulled the hanger on my exhaust. Just letting this hang down now. And if we can see up there, this is where the hitch lines up. This is that trunk pan you can hear. Just how thin it is. It just doesn't sound that strong. But this is where it lines up. Got a permanent marker. I'm just going to mark the four holes. Um, I might even... I'm probably just going to leave it in place here with the jack and drill them out. Just so there's no way I screw them up. But um, yeah, we're just going to drill straight through into the pan. Put a bolt. Drill the next one. Bolt. All that. And then there's another hole we got to drill. But I'm going to start with these. These four. Uh, all right, as you can see, really thin, easy to drill through metal. So I'm gonna go get the half inch bit and I'll be right back. All right, just gonna wind this out. There it is. I'm just gonna come up here and See how many do we do just washers on the inside all right so in the trunk here there's the hole so we're gonna do even these washers just feel cheap i'd just i'd rather trust this stuff we're gonna do bolt it's hard one-handed just like this Straight through and put this on. Tighten her down. Just like that. That's one done. And now I'm just gonna bang these out this one's gonna be kind of a pain because of this angle i'm not I'm not even sure i'm gonna do this one but we'll uh we'll work on it but we're just gonna drill it right through nice sharp drill that helps you back to the big bit Right 
there. I'm gonna go feed a bolt through it. All right. And then I'm just gonna put the nut on. the other two through. All right, so I got some weather strip adhesive. It's just like this sticky glue. We're gonna use that to try and seal this hole up. So I'm just gonna take it. Just like that. I get a nice thick layer. Don't really, you know, whatever. Didn't want to get it on the threads, but I did. That's just to loosely hold it. Move this one off. This one I'm going to do different. I'm going to put it right on the actual bolt here. Right, there you go. You can see it's all over where it mounts. Just gonna take it and squish it right on there. Put a nice piece of tape. And put a bigger one on that other piece. Just like that. Now we're gonna go down below and tighten these up. But it'll help it seal. that down snug this one we're gonna put on snug it these ones I'm gonna try and take off which is gonna be a pain there we go Hold on. That's one, and then this one. I'm try and just gently hold the threads here. I didn't put it on tight. There we go. That one's off also. I'm just gonna pull through. And same thing with the sealant. I don't know if you can see it or not, but. And tape. Just to try and hold it in place. All right, now we just got our last two two nuts to put on here, gently so the tape doesn't break loose. Tighten them down. Just get them nice and tight by, by hand. Same with this one. Because the the bolts, let me show you. So the nuts have these washers built in. They have little teeth on them. 
So as long as they're snug down here, they won't spin from up here. So we're just gonna take these, snug them all up. All right, so they're 45 foot pounds. Got a 14 mil socket and a torque wrench. I'm gonna set her 45. Forty-five. Tighten it down, and we're just gonna do a crisscross. We're gonna start here. All right, and then these are all nice and tight. The goo is coming out. I don't like how much they dent it in like that, but ah. Uh, this is the first bolt that I put in to hold it in place. And the second one goes back here, which gets drilled um, straight through the bottom of this pan. I don't know why I didn't go over here on this side. Just do holes there, but it goes straight up through here into the tow hook. So I'm gonna start with a little hole, with a little bit, drill straight up, big bit, and then drop the bolt through and do the same tightening. Okay. All right. So I just drop the bolt through the top. Probably have to have something to hold it. So I'm gonna just reach up there and hold it. Okay. Got it. And there's the hole in the trunk with the bolt. And this one's gonna get the same 45 foot pounds. Alright, that one's torqued down. It's kind of bending a lot, but but it's through. And now our last one. Run it up here. And this one gets torqued to 80 foot pounds. It's a lot. Oh. About all I can do with my uh, left hand, sprained my shoulder the other day, but uh, that's it, 80 foot pounds, 45 on all the others. Let's see what it looks like. It runs right along. There's that. Here, let me see. I can't really see it back there, but uh, there's a bolt back there. And the rest got drilled straight through the pan. It runs along. And then right up there to the frame. And that's it, I just gotta hook my exhaust in real quick and then we're, uh, we're done. It comes over here. And like that, I actually built this exhaust myself. I ordered the, whatever this is, actual muffler and welded it on, put my own bracket on there that I welded it looks bad it was before I got a MIG but it's solid it's been on there almost a year she's good to go feels solid the hitch isn't even budging tighten down strapped on one more time you see the four bolts in here and the one down right down there put the tire back in put the trunk together and yeah that's it thanks for watching if you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, leave a dislike, let me know why you hated it. Feel free to subscribe, and yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.